All right, take three. Uh, when I did the C4 rebuild video, I did this all on one page, and it was just too busy looking, so I separated it all. Should be easier to keep track of. On the uh, outside of the valve body over here, there'll be a casting number, and if it starts off with the C4, you got a 64 model valve body. And this is what it'll have in it. The shifter should have park, reverse, neutral, D2, D1 with a green dot, and L. When you put it in D2, it's going to take off in second, shift to third, you'll have kick down to second. When you put it in D1, it's going to take off in first, shift one, two, three, you'll have kick down to second and in the first. When you put it in low, it's going to take off in low. Manual valve has the detent in here and then there's spring and ball on the back side that keeps it locked into the different gears. It's a rectangular hole cut all the way through the, the manual valve. You got a 250,000 steel ball here. No balls anywhere else. It's a 64 model. The C5 casting number has the same on the shifter. Does the same thing. Has the same manual valve. You have a puck up here in the corner no ball anywhere else and this it fits 64 to 66 models and this is the valve body I had in my unit this is the valve body I should have had starts off with C7 you got your shifter positions that you're probably used to park reverse neutral drive 2 1 put it in drive takes off in first shifts 1 2 3 got kicked down the second in at first you put it in two it takes off in second stays there put it one it takes off in first and stays there your manual valve no longer has any detents in it their detent bolts to the outside of the valve body and takes that different rooster cone as shown in the rebuild video it has three notches cut out in the side but they don't go all the way through you have the puck a 217 thousandths ball no ball no ball in that pocket and a 217 thousandths plastic ball there fits 67 to 69. all those have uh, screw-in modulators and the 70 model does too you still got the same shifter setup does the same thing this is what your manual valve is going to look like now you have a puck still in the valve body a 217 thousandths plastic ball there no ball 217 thousandths and this hole is where your cooler relief uh, spring and puck goes the puck's going to go against the uh, valve body I mean the separator plate and the springs going to poke up and the filter is going to hold that in there's your dimensions on your spring and on your puck that goes against there and that fits 70 and up it's uh, casting numbers D0 through D7. Then you go to the C5 model. Still got the same manual valve, still got the same shifter setup, still does the same things. Uh, in the casting side of the valve body, you got two 217 thousandths plastic balls, 250 thousandths steel ball. You got a hole over here where the spring and relief, um, the spring and the puck goes. Here's your dimensions for that. You got 217 thousandths ball in there. Then in the part that separates off the valve body, you got a puck in there, a 217 thousandths ball. And then in this, this will be on the back side of this. This is the back side of that. There's a hole that goes through and you got another relief spring and puck. And there's your dimensions for that. And those are casting numbers D8 through E2. And that's the C5 transmission. It looks just like the C4. The difference is the valve body, the depth of the bell housing, and the converter. The converter has a lockup function in it. It's not like the clutches that you're probably used to. It's used uh, these metal fingers that, through centrifugal force, where they would sling out and grab the outside of the converter housing and 
that would uh, create your lockup and it was disastrous, it exploded and most people would uh, eliminate that function off of the converter it'd basically be a, a C4 after that Got our valve bodies here. Let's see, let's see if you can get a shot of that and uh, make sure that maybe it comes in. It's all the information you're going to need. We're talking about the casting, we're talking about this thing. We're talking about the valve body, we're talking about the part that's got all the valves in it. On the C5, you're going to have another uh, piece that goes on the back side here. And there's another piece of the valve body and another separator plate. So on the valve body, right here, is a casting number. And that's what we're talking about here. As far as the C4, C5, C7, the D0 through D7, the D8 through the E2. That's going to tell you what you got. And then as far as here goes, some of these later ones are going to have a bathtub here and then a bathtub here and then a place for a check ball over here and a place for a check ball up here on some of the some of the valve bodies. And then on uh, some of the later ones there'll be another bathtub up here like this one over here and then this is where the puck goes and as far as uh, this uh, cooler relief and spring it actually actually drew the line in the wrong spot. It's closer to the corner over here. <clears throat> and the cup that you're going to have on this one over here is going to look a lot like that. The one that goes underneath the filters on these others is going to look like that. And then this is what your puck looks like. I've seen these pucks with different size holes in them and I've seen them with no holes. Somebody left this puck out so it didn't even have it in there. Anyway, here's a little tab. It's not the cleanest looking filter. But that's the little tab that holds that spring and puck in. Or a little cap. Take our linkage out, change our lever seal. Depending on what year you have is what style you have. And then it takes different actuators. Down here where this uh, down here where this goes into it, it pushes on it. So if you put the wrong lever and the wrong combination, it's not going to go into park. This is the later style. It has the detents out here, and then it'll be a detent that bolts here and here and comes across here and, and runs on this. <clears throat>